Hello and welcome back. I am Aruma. Thank you for joining me. We're playing Factorio with Stijo. This is AB+. It is. We got electric engine. Are you trying to make a push towards um robots? No, not really. I uh You just wanted an electric engine. No, I, I got that tech because I wanted the nanobot stuff and next level forces you to get engine for some reason. Oh, okay. What's the nanobot stuff? I think it just makes nanobots have like faster speed or something. Electric engine. Oh, you mean the nanobot speed and range and that crap? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that was... Oh, the next levels are gated behind the electric engine. Alright. Mm -hmm. Here, we need, we need this. Need that. That, good. Steel metal mixing furnace. What? I don't even know that was a thing. It's new. I think Bob just updated it within the last couple of days. I was going to say, is that a Bob's thing or is that an Angel's? So, no, it's Bob's is updated. Interesting. Very interesting. That's cool though. That's nice that there's a, a little jump between... Uh, the stone ones and the uh, electric ones. Yeah, that's specifically what I'm trying to do. I want to see if maybe upgrading this metal mixing furnace to a steel mixing furnace will be good. Should be. Alright, this is very, um, <laughs> very spaghetti, so don't look over here. But we have more basic electronic board production now. And I've made it into a blueprint. Called B-E-B... Beb. 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 Gas steam cracking. We're actually not even using a yellow belt worth of copper right now. It is surprising how much we're just dependent upon iron and like nothing else. Yeah. Advanced aluminum smelting. Oh, no, it's aluminium. Nice. It's like sapphire. Miners need to get moved a little bit. We're kind of kind of getting close to actually sa tapping this field out. All right, this old steel bootstrap can probably go away. Is that hit the rest of that field there? Yeah. Well, cool. actually, quite a bit of coal storage up here too. So we're still yeah, it's just coal. had like a miner on it for ages. We've got them mining onto a splitter. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. All right. Did you know you, did you know you could do that? I never thought to try. Works just like long. Uh, works just like underground belt. Like it oh, right, forces okay. them to saturate both sides of the belt, and it's good. All right. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Well, the nice thing about it is you don't have to think about it. You just just plop it down, just make a very very simple blueprint, and it just does it. You know, it just binds yeah. everything. Yeah. Make of that go in my vanilla. 
see how I feel about it. Knowing you, you'll well, probably dis dislike it, I'm sure. Possibly. Um, Very expensive, but you do get them back, so... How much what? How much sulfuric are we actually making a second when this is running? If it were running, I think the number was like 46 sulfuric acid per second. 46 sulfuric acid per second. Which is not much. That's where we're going to make these... The leaching plants, that's that's the way to go. Our flotation cells. These yeah. guys. See, but right that's, here. Um, we need to do that up at the... This... The northwest, this, don't we? This will give us 50 sulfuric wastewater per craft. I think okay. we're getting how much from the clean coal. Same thing, 50 sulfuric wastewater per craft, but the crafting time is actually slower here. And we'll hardly be wanting to do the this coal one. Oh, it's currently flaring off the hydrogen. Let me see it go. All right, so let's uh. Let's what? What? What are we working on? I don't know right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna copy that stuff over to here. Remove that entirely. Yes, no? Thank you. Okay, more purified water because that thing was running shy a bit. I like that we're actually making some like space we can build things in now that we're mining some of this stuff out. Yeah. There we go. Got rid of one of the, the warehouses that was a bit further up and just using a filter off of this warehouse. I moved all that coal that was stockpiled into this one. Perfect. Alright, so you want to do the flotation cell stuff elsewhere, you said? Yeah, up in the, the northwest where we're doing everything else, all the other sorting. Oh, you know what? This little layout that I was using for all of the angels metallurgy things, I think I can use it for the, the standard angels ore stuff too. The tier oh, 1, tier cool. 2. I just shove it on the end of it. Yeah, look, I can go... Ah, uh, no, the crushers require gears. But the sorting facility... Just, just pull gears up the, the other side, do you want me? I can bring them off if you want. No, this is a situation I would actually agree with you, that making gears locally makes sense. Okay. Because it's just one machine that needs it. I don't want to run a whole belt just for one machine. See? Makes sense. And if you've got two machines that need it, you can just shove the, the thing in between the two of them. Alright. Why are you leaving spaces? Are we having electricity issues? No. You talking about me leaving spaces or? No, this um So this is the iron is perfectly ratioed to make an entire yellow belt, is it not? Hmm it should if it has enough crushed like enough iron ore coming in is it is it iron ore restricted i think we were running low on sapphire for a while oh we're totally fine on iron ore and i don't know this makes one iron per second oh no it's not these only make 12 iron so it's a uh, 0.66 items per second, uh, point, oh no, it's 1.33 items per second, that's right. <laughs> the snow does sound really cool, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, this won't, these won't give, um, an entire yellow belt, I mean, it's just shy, so it's not a big deal, but 
Yeah, won't give an entire yellow belt. I suppose it's the same with the copper. The copper one doesn't give an entire copper belt, uh, an entire yellow belt of copper. All right, what are we doing? Where are we gonna make these uh, flotation cell refining type stuffs? Well, we do the rest of the crushing, sorting, and all that junk up here in the northwest. Okay. My God, Stejo, your side of the factory is so dark. Well, light it up. Why does it have to be me? It does the lights. Do the, do the, one, the lights. The one that complains about it. There you go. Light. I'm just gonna put one, one light. Just oh, a singular go, light. Two. I just think the factory looks so much cooler when you're zoomed out and there's light, little lights everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so what are we what are we doing up here? We're doing <gasps> dude, 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 dude. The powder Pictures. mixer actually has a recipe now. Aluminum hydroxide. Cool. Okay. So what's this? Uh, all these blueprints you've got up here. What are we doing? This was you that placed all these. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I am going to need more nanobots if I'm going to be running around up here. <laughs> So, we were originally going to, I think, just set one of these up for each tier, right? We're going to do each of the different types of ore. Yes. Yeah. But if you're putting flotation cells, does that not is that not part of this entire setup? This takes it from cru uh, from raw ore into just crushed ore, and then this is actually sorting it already. So this this right hand side will need to interject the flotation cell stuff and then push the sorting stage further to the right. Okay. So all the iron we just spent nanobotting this stuff was a huge waste, basically. Okay, yeah. Well, let's remove the, the upper one because we're obviously changing this. Can you stop building stuff and then deconstructing it straight away? Never. <laughs> We have so many resources right now that I'm not too worried about it, but... Yeah, this map honestly has way too much. Yeah, we kind of broke, broke our map. Alright, so should I just deconstruct... Before we start processing any of this stuff, just deconstruct all of this. Because we're going to be shoving something else in this spot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, to the hell mod. Hopefully it doesn't lag. We'll see. I'm gonna just get rid of the one that I was working on. Seems to be the, like the recipe interface that makes you like. Alright, so the goal the goal is gonna be to do the flotation cell recipe. Server's not responding. <laughs> So we're going to be doing... We need ah. to do Rubite Hydro... Is it still lagging? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I was sorting myself in my seat so I can like try and work out what this stuff work does. Right, so Rubite Hydro Refining uses crushed, ruby crushed Rubite and purified water. Okay. And this unfortunately you... is going to make Squelch nitric. Okay. Nitric wastewater, not the kind we actually want. Is it the same ratios and things for all of the ores, regardless of what the outputs? I'm pretty sure, but there's different fluid byproducts. Some of them, I think one of them makes nitric, one makes fluoric, and one of them, like two or three of them, makes sulfuric wastewater. Okay. So we have to just pay very close attention to which one's making which and don't mix the lines. So the rubite, the rubite squelchy stuff, it looks squelchy. Uh, what, what do you call it? The item that you get from the hydro refining. The rubite chunk? Is that a chunk? Okay. Yeah. 
It looks real squishy though. It doesn't look chunky. It looks squishy. So the, the Rubite chunk just gets used in the ore sorting facility. Yes, and then that brings that comes it, out as different shit. It it can, but there's another <laughs> there's another step. So you can Ooh. you can go okay. Ore becomes crushed, crushed mm -hmm. ore, and then you take the crushed, and then you do this this hydro refining step where you mix in some purified water, and then you get a byproduct, and then you get your chunks. The next step beyond that is the chunks go into something called a leaching plant, which uh, L E E C. I don't think we have the tech for it yet. Oh, now you can make crystals. That chemical refining tech is locked behind. Yeah, so chemical refining, you take it one one tier, high, one tier higher with sulfuric acid mixed in, and then you end up with even more junk. Right, okay, so... But for oh, now, okay, I don't... so you make, you make rubyite chunks, which gives you the stuff required to make nitric acid, and then you pump the nitric acid back in and get the crystals. You son of a bitch. Wow, major biters. Alright, so I'm with you, so... So for now though, I think we, we want to do the flotation cell stuff. Yes. Flotation cell stuff. Alright, so I'm trying to figure out what the ratio is going to be. Well, what is it we're trying to do down here? We get an entire yellow belt, so we need to figure out how much is going to use an entire yellow belt. And a flotation cell. So a flotation cell uses one rubyite per second. We need a lot. <laughs> Thir yeah, we, we need 13.33 of them. We need 14 of them. Um, I'm calculating with an ore crusher mark two. We have a setup right now with eight ore crusher mark twos. We need 43 flotation cell mark ones to process it. Okay. A lot. Yeah. Or or we could just not process it all that way. It doesn't all have to be processed that way. You could you could do some it's regular crushed crushed sorting. It's not necessarily the best because if you look at it, you actually lose like take um maybe rubite's the wrong one to be looking at for now. But if you look at like sapphirite crushed sorting right now our product is uh two iron ore one copper and if you do the next step then you still end up with two iron ore but it costs but you slightly more you're spending more of the more, yeah. yeah so you're getting more of the ancillary ores at the cost of iron okay so, yeah but the other the other ones that you're getting is higher tier Higher tier stuff, okay. I mean, we need nickel, and that's actually another way to make uh, acid. Is the nickel processing? Yeah. That just gives you 10 sulfuric dioxide, sulfur dioxide gas, and you can turn that directly into sulfuric acid with purified water. So my question is, do we want to have a setup that will that will 100% sort iron ore. Uh, so if we do one that does sapphirite, like that fully sorts sapphirite up here, and then have it set up for if we are lacking iron ore, then we can turn on the regular sorting that gives us more iron ore. Well, there's another sorting recipe though. There's combination the sorting. Yeah. yeah. If you need pure iron ore, the Jivalite plus Sapphirite is the, the most effective one. We don't have the tech for that. Um, is that blue signs, or are we just, like, we're still working through all these fucking red and greens? Maybe we do already have the tech. Am I missing it? I'm not seeing it in the list. What's it used for? It's pretty good for that. Um. Hmm. Okay, apparently the recipe is just called 4x iron ore. It doesn't have the word sort in it. We do have the recipe right now. We oh, just I need see. Crush, yeah. crush Jivolite. Alright, 
I am going to not do it this episode, apparently, but I'm going to get some more bullets and some more tier, tier 2 turrets and go kill stuff. Because those bases are awfully close. Oh, are you going to turret push it, yeah? Is that not how you want to do it? You want to use tanks instead? We don't have tanks. Yeah. That's a big base, though. Yeah, tier 2 turrets. So Answer. much fun with tanks, though. Uh, that is definitely true. Alright, well, we need to finish up the episode there, so... Is it you or me? I've lost track. Okay. Hours ago. Well, see you next time! <laughs> see you in a bit.